Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, my Let's Play. My name is AJ, and we are at the top of the temple. Last time we were running through the temple with uh, all my fellow Jedi, and we found our way to the top. And now this, this, my friends, is where everyone gets sad. Because there's nothing in the cylinder! <laughs> oh, well, there's something in that one, but yeah. It was kind of sad. Uh, but no, that's not what I meant. So, this is pretty sad. Listen to the music. And I'll be quiet until I have to read. of the Jedi Council. What are you talking about? Surely you know what I mean, Look at what they did to you. They turned you into their puppet. The same thing they do to all who are truly strong in the Force. They speak of the dark side as if it is something to be feared. But in reality, their only goal is to manipulate those who are strong in the Force. The fear of the dark side is a tool to maintain control. Why do you think the Jedi forbid you and Malak from joining the Mandalorian rules? Your true potential and break free of their domination. Malak has shown me how the Jedi Council have been using me the same way they once tried to use you. They've been holding me back because they knew one day I would surpass them all. It's not too late, Bastila. You can still turn away from the dark side. Don't be lured in by these Sith lies, Bastila. Okay, so it's sad. She got turned to the dark side. But, just watch. <clears throat> that wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> he was stronger than I would have thought possible after what the Jedi Council did to you. Yep. The power of the dark side is not lost to you after all, Revan. <clears throat> I draw my power from the light now. You're only fooling yourself. I know the truth. I've seen the shadows inside your mind. Remember? I was there when you nearly died in the trap set by the Jedi Council. I use the Force to preserve your life, Revan. We are forever linked by my actions on that bridge. That's how I know you will come back to the light. 
true feelings, Revan. You're speaking as a tool of the Jedi Council, as I once did. But now I see how the Jedi used us both. The Council tried to exploit the bond between us. They hoped I would draw out your memories to lead them to the Star Forge. We were slaves to their will, like all who follow the Jedi Code, but in our shared visions of the star maps. I also felt the so-called taint within you. I resisted it at first, but now I embrace the power of the dark side. Your dark side. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes. It is not too late to come back to the light. Mistakes? No, Revan. The <coughs> only mistake you are making is the one you are making now. You deny yourself the power that is yours by right. Only now do I realize how strong you are. You deserve to be the true master of the Sith, not Malak. I see this now. Together we can destroy your old apprentice. Join with me and reclaim your lost identity. <coughs> I'm not Revan anymore. I don't even remember those days. Too badly damaged to ever fully restore your memories, Revan. But your power, your strength of will, the essence of who and what you are, these things still remain. Once, long ago, you defied the Jedi Council, freeing yourself from their control. You claimed your rightful title of Dark Lord of the Sith. Together we can defeat Malak and take back what is yours. Turn away from this path, Bastila. The dark side leads only to destruction. Revan's dead. I'm a servant of the light now. Together we could have defeated Malak and ruled over an empire. Now, I will be at Lord Malak's side instead. You will be crushed with the Republic and all the fools who bow down to the Jedi Council. No one can stand against the power of the Star Forge and the Sith fleet. Okay. Oh, I'm running after her. She left. Sad face. No. <laughs> oh well. Okay. So let's see. Plasteel cylinders and stuff in there, and the computer. Let's shut down planetary disruptor field. Shut down temple energy field. All right. Everything's turned off. Now. <clears throat> Let us get the heck out of here and get back to our ship to stop both Bastila and Malik. Pretty good, huh? Storytelling of this game. I'm serious. It's insane. They put so many facts in here of the Star Wars universe. They updated everything so well. It's like one of the reasons why I love this game so much. So... Let's just continue. Um, let's go out here. Are any of those guys out here still? No, I guess not. Oh well. Okay. Well, let's go to our ship. I think we they've done all they can for us. So let's get out of here. Get to that ship and get the heck off this crazy planet. We're coming, guys. We are coming. <laughs> now it seems there are more warriors that want to fight. Okay, fine. Whatever then. Yep, one more time. And they're all dead. Okay. And my partner's leveled up. Cool. I'll level them up later though. Let's get to our ship. Alright, there's everyone. <coughs> And we're all in the same robe. That's cool. Is she alive? What happened inside that temple? Well, she fell to the dark side. Um, she fled to the Star Forge. Yep. Yep. 
Yep. She can still be saved, can't she? Try and we will. I don't know what the fate awaits us, but I sense Bastion still has a role to play in the events to come. Yep. I have no doubt she will be waiting for us on the star. She sure will. Let's go then before she has time to organize a bigger welcoming committee. There you go, Karth. That's his Republic stuff. Or his Republic uh things um working for him. Alright. So, are we ready to go, guys? Um, hey, Jerk. No, I'm done talking. So, where's Karth? Looks like I just have to plot the course. So, here we go, guys. Oh, wait. Where do I put them? In the engine room, or what? I guess so. Let's check it out. Oh, hyperdrive. There we go. That looks like it's all set. Hyperdrive is fixed. And I think we can go now. Alright, let's see. Um, any other place where I have to put parts? Doesn't look like it. I think we're good. Okay, to the Starforge system. Nope, to the Starforge. Here we go. The Republic <coughs> have got the message I sent as we were crashing into that planet. I'm picking up a transmission from them now. Admiral Thorne Dodonna to the Admiral Hawk. Do you need us? Admiral Dodonna, this is Karth Anessa. We're receiving your transmission. Karth, I'm glad to see you still alive. Starforge wasn't constructed by the Sith, Admiral. We don't have time for me to fully explain it, but that space station is far older than we can imagine. Maybe we should pull the fleet back and retreat. I don't know if we have the firepower to go up against this alien technology. We can't do that, Admiral. The Starforge is a factory of immense power. It's been churning out the capital ships, snub fighters, and assault droids that have powered the Sith forever. You have to destroy the Starforge now, or you'll be fighting an unending wave of reinforcements. Nope. It's because of Bastila, Admiral. She turned to the dark side and became Malik's apprentice. We suspect she's somewhere on that space station right now, using her battle meditation against you and your family. Yep. Oh, he's live! Yay! Yep. Yay! And with you, Master Volk. Okay, <coughs> so here we go. We are here on the Endar Spire. Yes, what's in and no one wants to talk about it. Everyone's just like, yeah, what do you want? What do you know about this? Oh, huh? okay, let's do it. That's all they basically say. <sighs> well, here we are. Ready to fight Bastila and to get to Darth Malak. 
And so, that being said, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe to the video, and tell your friends. I'm almost done. Ah, oh, my first LP. I'm so happy. All right, so I will see you all next time. Peace.